everyone! Today I'm drawing a beagle and we're going to be discussing animal testing. Just a quick little disclaimer thing, I'm not going to be including any graphic footage here or photographs or anything, it's just the drawing. So if you're sensitive to that, they won't be included. So the reason I'm drawing a beagle for this video is because they're widely used for animal testing. Firstly, they're quite small, so they don't use lots and lots of space, and also they're cheaper to keep compared to other breeds of dogs. But the most heartbreaking reason is that they're just sweet little dogs. They're docile, and they're not likely to fight back. I just think it's sickening that people think it's acceptable to take advantage of the weak, vulnerable, and voiceless. Would we accept that in any other scenario? I don't think so. But it's seemingly okay because it's for science. It's for a, a good cause or whatever. But I think it's just sickening and we'll come on to talk about the science and stuff. It's hard to get an exact number because all this stuff is kind of secretive. The people running it don't really want the public to know about it because obviously they wouldn't be happy most of them but every single year millions of animals are terrorized and killed in labs under the false narrative of advancing scientific knowledge dogs cats mice fish rabbits monkeys horses we kill all of them they can legally be burned, shackled, poisoned, isolated, starved, forcibly restrained, forced to take addictive drugs, given brain damage, forced to inhale toxic fumes, have holes drilled in their skulls, have their skin burned off, have their spinal cords cut, severed, and I could go on, but I think you get the point. As I mentioned, I'm not including any graphic footage, graphic imagery, or going into extremely gory details. But if after this video, you're still going to buy products tested on animals, and you're going to keep on funding this to happen, I really recommend that you watch some of the undercover exposés of what really goes on. And because I think just by me speaking about it, it's not really conveying the severity of this issue. And in addition to the torture of the actual experiments, the animals are confined to barring cages, they're socially isolated, psychologically traumatised, and they're basically treated like disposable laboratory equipment. And on top of this all... Animal testing is so ineffective. The National Institutes of Health reports that 95 out of every 100 drugs that pass animal tests fail in humans. I know that humans do have many similarities to other animals, but every single species responds differently to substances, so animal tests are unreliable in predicting effects in humans. Even results from the same tests on the same species can vary due to the unreliability of animal tests. They're misleading and can actually hinder medical progress. Humans are suffering more because precious time, money and other resources are wasted executing these worthless tests. For example, the introduction of blood transfusion was delayed over 200 years because of misleading results of animal experiments. There are modern ethical research methods that can replace animal tests. We don't need animal tests. One example that I particularly like is organs on chips. If you're real sciencey, I'd recommend looking into the alternatives to animal tests because they're fascinating. Well, for me anyway, um, I'm not going to cover all of the alternatives because there are so many and I know it would for a lot of people, even though, as I say, I think it's really interesting. Anyway, my point is human relevant research is much more accurate than animal tests, as well as being quicker and utilising fewer resources. I used to think that the alternative for 
torturing animals in tests was to do the same to humans, so I didn't think there was any ethical way, but I was completely wrong. There are so many victim-free options. Animal testing is unethical, unreliable, and unnecessary. If you want to end animal testing, make sure the products you buy are cruelty-free and vegan. The labeling of these products is kind of weird because a product can't be cruelty-free while not being vegan and it's not vegan if it's testing animals, but that's just the way they label them. So if you're against animal abuse, make sure your products are both cruelty-free and vegan and please tell others about this topic because I think that if people really knew the severity of this issue and what was really happening to the animals, They'd not fund it, especially since animal tests are so ineffective. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far in the video because people really need to hear about this and to stop funding it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on animal testing, even if it's different to mine. I'd still love to hear your opinion and we can have a nice, respectable conversation.